Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church and friend, family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm so excited about this daily prayer series that the Lord has laid on my heart to lead us through over the next uh, 29 days or so. We're going to be praying through the names of the Holy Spirit. That's right. We're going to be praying through the names of the Holy Spirit. And my prayer and my my hope and, and goal for this prayer series is that you and I will begin to develop a deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit, that we'll be more in tune with him, that we'll have more insight into who he is and how he operates and what he's trying to do in our life. You know, the Bible gives us names of God so we can understand God and we can know his attributes. And as such, God has given us names for the Holy Spirit. He's given us names like he's a helper. He's our comforter, our friend, our advocate, our teacher. It describes him as the breath of life, fire. He's the seal that seals our salvation. He's new wine. He's living water. He's a dove. He's power. There's so many descriptions of the, the Holy Spirit that it's designed to help us to relate to him in ways that cause us to be more obedient to him and just see him manifesting his power in our life. And so I want to pray um, for the next 29 days or so through the scriptures and through the names of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to go right back to John chapter 14, where we were yesterday in verse six. But I want to read it today from the King James version of the word of God. Yesterday, we read from the New King James and the King James gives us another name for the Holy Spirit. It says, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. And Jesus said, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. That word that's translated yesterday in the new King James called the Holy Spirit, our helper in the King James is translated comforter. It's just another way to call the Holy Spirit our helper by calling him our comforter. And you know, a comforter is someone who comes alongside of you when you're in distress or comes alongside of you in a difficult time or comes alongside of you when you need uh, some support and some comfort. And that's what the Holy Spirit does in our life. And we can relate to him as our comforter. So let's go to the Lord in prayer today and pray and just thank God that the Holy Spirit is in fact our comforter. And let's pray and thank God again that the Holy Spirit will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, uh, we just thank you and praise you today for this day that you have made. Lord God, we are rejoicing. We are glad in it. We praise you and thank you, Lord, for the scriptures. We praise you and thank you for Jesus Christ and his total sufficiency. Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross and being raised from the dead for the forgiveness of our sin. Lord, we thank you for shedding your precious blood on that cross for the remission of our sins. Lord, you did not have to do it. And you didn't do it because of your sin, but you did it because of our sin. So we thank you and just glorify you for that. And Lord, we um, just ask you to forgive us of our sins and purify us of all unrighteousness today. And Lord, we thank you for not only being resurrected and alive forevermore, but thank you for ascending and sitting now at the right hand of the Father and praying to the Lord God to send us another comforter. As the scripture says in John chapter 14 and verse 16, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we, we welcome you into our lives again today. We, we welcome you into this time of prayer. We, we just thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are in fact our comforter. We thank you that you come alongside the body of Christ. You come alongside of each of us individually, and you are our divine comforter. Lord, I pray today that somebody that is going through a difficult situation, some mother, some father, some family member, some son, some daughter, uh, some single person, Lord God, that is going through a difficult situation. Lord, I pray today that you would show up in their life as their comforter, Lord. I pray for somebody, Lord, that may be dealing with uh, the loss uh, or the death of a loved one. Someone's passed away, Lord, and is no longer here physically. I pray, Lord, that somebody's trying to adjust to that new reality, that you'll come alongside of them, Lord, and comfort them with, 
with a comfort that they've never experienced before, Lord. I, I pray somebody else is going through a trial or is in a, in a storm, Lord, is going through a difficult situation. Holy Spirit, I'm asking that you would show up in their life today in a real and a tangible way and that, that you would comfort them through that situation, Lord. While the situation may not change and their circumstances may remain the same for a while, Lord, they can make it because you will comfort them through it in Jesus' name. I pray for some young person, Lord God, that is in school or is starting a new endeavor, Lord, or is trying to make it on their own and living in this world. And they have found out, Lord, in ways that um, the world is a mean and evil place. But let them know, God, that you're there right there with them, Lord. Be their comforter in this mean and evil world that we have to live and to deal with, Lord. And I pray and thank you, not only that you are our comforter, but I thank you that your presence has been promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Jesus said in John chapter 14 and verse 16 that, that you would abide with us forever. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, helper. Thank you, comforter, that you will never leave us and you will never forsake us. Thank you, Lord, that when mother and father forsake us, then will you take us up. Lord, when friends walk away and turn their backs on us, Lord, you will still be right there with us in the fire, with us in the situation, with us in the circumstances. Even, Lord, when our closest relatives and our closest associates, Lord, can't find time for us because they're dealing with their own situations and circumstances, Lord, we can turn to you and you will be right there. Lord God, I thank you for revealing the Holy Spirit to us. I thank you for sending him to the body of Christ, to the church of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that we have a real and a rich and a refreshing relationship with you through the Holy Spirit. And so Holy Spirit, manifest yourself to us today. Show up in our lives, fill us with your power, fill us with your presence, and let us experience your comfort like never before. And we'll be careful to give your name the praise in your name, the honor, in your name, the glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for the Holy Spirit being our comforter. And we read again from John chapter 14 and verse 16 from the King James Version of God's Word today. And it tells us, Jesus said, and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit the notification button. That way, when the new daily prayer comes out, you can get a notification on your device that it's time to pray with the New Horizons Church. And then share the channel with someone else. Bring your friends around. What a great way to start your day or what a great way to improve your prayer life by making it a group prayer. Uh, bring your family around the table in the morning or in the afternoon or the evening to share these prayers with them and introduce the Holy Spirit to them or reintroduce the Holy Spirit to your prayer partners and your prayer team. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.